Hello and welcome to Corinne's Dramaturgical Video Final. Here we are at the end of the quarter of inspiration. I got the inspiration for this vlog during the day in class that we watched scenes from notable queer film, and I thought, hey, I know a queer film that I can talk about. So for this video, I'll be reviewing and discussing the film Desert Hearts. Desert Hearts was a 1986 film and was adapted from a 1964 lesbian-themed novel by Jane Gould. This movie is set in 1959 and follows a female professor named Vivian, who is seeking a quickie divorce in Reno when she eventually falls for a free-spirited younger woman named Kay. This movie broke boundaries in film, because it was the first film that showed a lesbian relationship in a positive light, a lesbian who is very confident and secure in her sexuality, and it was also one of the first to film to feature a lesbian lovemaking. This movie came about when the director, Donna Deitch, wanted to find a story about lesbian romance that, as she said, didn't end in a bisexual love triangle or suicide. After she found the novel, got the grants and the funds to produce the film, the next challenge came when she sought out to cast actresses. Now many refused because they didn't want to be labeled as a lesbian actress. She found her first woman when she hired Patricia Charbonneau as the character Kate. Now I know you're with what you're thinking. Charbonneau? Yes, Patricia Charbonneau is my aunt, and I had the privilege of interviewing her for this video. When asked whether she was apprehensive about playing a lesbian character for her first ever film role, she said that people that were close to her, many of them said some kind of variation of, well, I hope you have a good time because it's the last movie you'll ever make. But at 25 years old, she was just excited to do it. But in the back of her mind, there was some apprehension of being labeled as a dyke. She also said that Donna Deitch, the director, had the worst of it because in preparing to get the movie started, a lot of Hollywood wouldn't even give her the time of day since it was such a risk at this time to do a movie like this. But all in all, everyone who was involved with the film got a lot of feedback, but then Donna created a beautiful, groundbreaking film in the end. Desert Hearts was Patricia's first film. During the audition, Donna asked her about the love scene and she said, well, I've never done one, but to tell you the truth, I'd probably be less comfortable with a guy. After she was cast, they then flew her out to LA to read with actresses for Vivian, and that her and Ellen Shaver immediately hit it off. There was instant chemistry. They then flew out to Reno to begin shooting. Now, Patricia went off to talking about the production. She described it as a bunch of renegade, wonderful filmmakers out in the middle of the desert making a movie wondering if anybody would ever see it. Everything you could dream as a young artist. Donna's vision for it was to introduce this film not as a lesbian love story, but instead just a beautiful love story. And that's exactly what it would become. In researching this film, I found that many of the head honchos working on this film were women. This begged the question for me, was this intentional? Was it a political statement? Patricia said that it wasn't. Donna had worked in documentaries before this, and a lot of her connections, like the screenwriter, Natalie Cooper, we're in documentaries, and during this time, documentaries were the low-paying, low-budget films, so those roles were dominated by women, while the mainstream blockbusters were, and kind of still are, controlled by men. Patricia stated to me that this was one of her favorite films, just because she had a sense of equality on set. Unlike doing a movie with a heterosexual romance where the woman is basically just arm candy, both the featured women had their own storylines, and they both helped the plots be pushed along rather than just being along for the ride. Now, as I stated before, this movie was a huge milestone in mainstream queer movies. Patricia said that it was remarkable the difference that it made in people's lives. When the movie first came out, they were flooded with women thanking them for putting this movie out there, and this idea that a woman could be homosexual and proud of it made a huge impact in women's lives. Even when they recently met up for their 30th anniversary, powerful and notable women in the industry told her and the cast how the, this movie gave them the confidence to come out and be proud of who they are. All in all, this movie is a wonderful representation of queer film, and how film, along with other medias of entertainment, changed the way the world viewed LGBTQ individuals.